I would say uh, more than 30 years ago, it was my mother-in-law, Lorraine Peterson, who first talked about a new heritage center. And then uh, I think maybe 15, 17 years ago, we started planning for one. And now today here it stands, we're here. It's a living center. It's not just a museum. It's really telling the story of the Wampums, the past, the present, and the future. Our relationship with the Wampums and Grand PUD has been over 50 years. And through that process, I think we've built what I would consider uh, the mutual trust and respect that um, goes more than just what's written down on paper. It's really the commitments that we make through our words and our actions. Thank you, Rex. Thank you, Angela, for uh, uh, being sure we got the opportunity to uh, present this building to the Wanapum people. He says, if you want to recognize anybody or honor anybody, he says, you need to recognize our children because what we're leaving behind is not what we got when we were left behind. He says they're going to have bigger challenges. They're going to have to talk even more. They're going to have to have even bigger relationships to work through these issues and these things because things aren't the way they are today like they were in the past. He told me you gotta keep going. You need to finish what we started. Because it's for the children. And now today, a foundation has been built for them. Big positive, something special, something for them to be happy about, and all of us that they can continue to build on it. Sitting here today to recognize this new building, this is a part of that because this also is not only the elders' dream, I believe it's the children's dream too. And uh, they're gonna carry this further. They're gonna carry it uh, bigger. And that's my dream, you know, that they're going to regain a lot of the things that was talked about, they're not lost, they just need to be woken up.